Welcome to this brief guide on how to insert a date picker in Excel. Manually typing in a whole bunch of dates into Excel is one of the most time consuming and cumbersome things that I know how to do. And so today I'm going to show you how you can use the power of an add-in to make this easier than ever with your very own date picker. Now normally, if I wanted to enter in a bunch of dates into Excel, I would simply need to select my cells and then start typing in the dates manually. Now this is very cumbersome, time consuming and prone to potentially human errors, such as typing in the wrong year and then needing to go back and change it. Now if we were entering in today's date, however, there's a keyboard shortcut which we can use for that, which is control plus semicolon, which is a great little tip in and of itself. But for all of these other dates, we're going to need to spend a lot of time typing. Now this is not a great way to do it, so instead I'm going to show you today how to get an add-in to make this easier. In order to install that add-in, you'll need to head to the Insert tab in your ribbon if you're on an older version of Excel, or on the latest Microsoft 365 versions, you can utilize the Home tab in your ribbon, and the Add-ins menu is going to be located all the way at the end. And then once we select the Add-ins menu, we'll get a drop-down which will show us all of our add-ins that are currently installed, as well as some popular add-ins. The one I'm after is actually currently in the popular add-ins, but if you don't see it there, you can utilize the button that says Get Add-ins, which selecting will open up the Office Add-ins store as a pop-up. Now here we have a search menu right located at the top, and we're gonna search for the term Mini Calendar. And searching for this is going to give us our Mini Calendar and Date Picker right at the top. You can quickly and easily use the Add button if you just want to add this to your Office installation, or you can select the app itself in order to see a bit more information about the app as well as any frequently asked questions. Once you're ready to install it, simply select the Add option, and then once you've viewed the License Terms and Privacy Policy, click on Continue. Now this is going to automatically open up the add-in for us, but what I'll do at the moment is just close down this so that I can show you how to activate it normally. So in order to close, I simply hit that menu and select Delete, which will remove it from my Excel spreadsheet. And then to grab this add-in again, I simply head to my Home menu in the ribbon and then select the Add-ins option, and you'll see that Mini Calendar is located right there at the top in My Add-ins. If you don't see it in amongst those two options, you can use the See All button, which will show you all of the add-ins that you currently have installed, and you can access it from there. So I'm going to quickly open it up by going to Home, add-ins and selecting my mini calendar and date picker. And what you'll notice straight away is that it's automatically set to this month. And you can see that today's date is colored in red. And in order to utilize it, I simply select my cell and click on one of the available dates. This is much faster than typing. And it also helps me to avoid any chance of me having a human error as I'm simply selecting the dates from the calendar and not manually typing them in. It's also much faster if I want to be able to quickly jump forward a few months and select a date in the next year. Now this also has a few other additional options, such as the ability to quickly and easily insert the current time using the clock button found there at the bottom. And we can also customize this calendar just a little bit if we wish, such as being able to change the calendar size to a smaller version if we don't want it taking up as much space on our Excel spreadsheet while we're utilizing it. I'm just going to expand it back out there to make it a bit easier to see. And then using the second button there, we can change the calendar theme. So if you have a preferred color scheme that works best for you, you can elect to make that one your default. Then we go on to the next button in the menu system there, which allows us to change our calendar system. So if you prefer to have the ISO calendar system, you can set that, or even one of the US calendar systems with your preferred starting date for each week. Then we have the ability to toggle our week numbers. Selecting this will allow us to quickly and easily see the week numbers on our calendar pop-up, and then we have the option to highlight a range of dates and also the ability to hide the settings. Now once done, we simply hit that menu button on the top corner and we can select delete to remove it from our spreadsheet. And that is how you get your very own date picker in Excel. I hope you found this tip extremely useful and it saves you plenty of time in the future and I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, be sure to check out the channel and if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.